A star is hurtling towards our solar system right now, and when it reaches us, it won't end well. Scientists have calculated that this event will have dramatic consequences and are even talking about the most powerful disturbance of our solar system ever. What exactly is coming our way and whether we need to be worried, you'll find out in this video. Stay tuned until end and welcome everyone. Normally, I bring you the stars from the sky, but this time it's more of a threat than a promise. If you find fascinating stories from space as exciting as I do, then why not subscribe? It's free, you'll never miss another exciting video, and you'll be helping me immensely. Thank you! In fact, a star is hurtling towards our solar system, and not just any distant point of light, but one of our direct galactic neighbors. It's named Gleisus 710, and it's quite a force to be reckoned with. By the way, I think we need a cooler name than Gly 710 for this stellar intruder. Write your best name suggestions in the comments. I'm really looking forward to them and I'll try to reply to as many as possible, I promise. Now, before you start panicking and digging bunkers, let me first explain why something like this is even possible, because many of you are probably thinking, hang on a minute, Astro Tim, stars have their fixed place in the Milky Way. You're lying. Basically, that's true. Our solar system sits on one of the outer spiral arms of the galaxy and orbits the galactic center together with billions of other stars. A complete orbit takes about 225 million years, that's a galactic year. So we're not just racing around the sun with Earth, but also through the galaxy with the entire solar system. Here you can see how this movement through the galaxy might look. Pretty crazy thought, right? Since this video started, we've raced through a gigantic distance through the Milky Way. We are never in the same place. So if you ever don't have any money left for a holiday, perhaps that thought might comfort you in some way. But the positions of the stars are not completely fixed. Every star, in addition to this galactic movement, also has a certain proper motion of its own. Over very long periods of time, this can cause the distances between individual star systems to change. Normally, however, stars are very polite and respect the privacy of their neighbors. They keep a nice distance, but then there are a few exceptions. Just like with people, there are also some stars that simply can't stick to the rules about keeping their distance. Such stars are called rock stars. They move completely independently of the other stars and do not participate in the collective galactic dance. They are, so to speak, the troublemakers of stellar society. Gliese 710 is one such wandering star, and unfortunately, it is also on a collision course with our solar system. Just how head-on the collision will be still needs to be clarified in detail. But in any case, it will fly damn close past us. Scientists have calculated, using the highly precise data from the Gaia Space Telescope, exactly when this unwelcome visitor will arrive. In 1.35 million years, Gliese will pass through our solar system. I can already hear some of you saying, mate, why should I care about what happens in over a million years? At first, that sounds like an unimaginably long time, but on a cosmic scale, that's practically the day after tomorrow. For comparison, Earth has been around for 4.6 billion years. 1.35 million years is really just the blink of an eye. And here's where it gets really exciting. Researchers originally thought that Gliese would fly past us at a distance of about 60,000 astronomical units. That would be relatively far away, but the new, more precise Gaia measurements have shown that it will come much closer to us. Only 13,366 astronomical units, in fact. That is still a great distance by human standards but from a cosmic perspective, it is literally racing through our solar system. To put that into perspective, one astronomical unit is the average distance between the Earth and the Sun, which is about 150 million kilometers. Gliese will therefore pass us at a distance of about 2 trillion kilometers. That may sound like a lot, but the so-called Oort's Cloud, the outermost region of our solar system, extends up to 100,000 astronomical units from the Sun. Gliese 710 will therefore definitely enter this area. Imagine a truck narrowly missing your house but instead crashing through your carefully planted tulips and demolishing your garden shed and doghouse. That's roughly how it is. But what's the story with these mysterious outer regions of the solar system? The Oort cloud is a gigantic, spherical collection of comets and other objects that surrounds our solar system. Here, the sun's gravity is just strong enough to keep these objects in its band. So far, no one has been able to observe the Oort cloud directly. It is simply too far away and the objects are too small. But it must exist. 
because there must be a boundary somewhere where the sun's gravity becomes weaker than that of other stars. It is here in the Orchid Cloud that Gliese 710 will cause quite a stir. When it rushes through the Orchid Cloud, its gravity will knock countless comets and asteroids out of their comfortable orbits and hurl them toward the inner solar system. From Earth, this will be a spectacular sight. With an apparent brightness of minus 2.7 magnitudes, Gliese will be one of the brightest objects in the night sky, brighter than Jupiter and all other planets except Venus. Sirius, currently the brightest star, has a magnitude of only minus 1.46. Gliese 710 will therefore be more than three times brighter and you'll even be able to see it during the day. What's more, it will move extremely quickly across the sky at almost one arc minute per year. That's five times faster than Barnard's star, which currently holds the record for the fastest proper motion. But I can already hear some of you nervously asking, how dangerous is this going to be? Do we need to start stockpiling toilet paper? Well, the flyby of Gliese itself probably won't directly threaten life on Earth. It will not come close enough to disrupt our planetary orbits or cause catastrophic tidal forces. The real danger lies in the impact on the Oort cloud. Scientists estimate that Gliese will eject about 0.1% of all comets from the Oort cloud. That may not sound like much, but we're talking about trillions of objects. About 0.01% of these comets could be sent on trajectories that lead them into the inner solar system. That's still a huge number of long-period comets. The researchers expect that after Gliese's visit, around 10 new visible comets will appear each year. And this will continue for millions of years. So, for amateur astronomers, it's an absolute treat. But it also means that the likelihood of impacts on Earth will increase significantly. The first 600,000 years after the flyby could be particularly critical. During this time, the comets will arrive that are heading directly towards the Sun. And they will all come from the same direction namely from the spot where Gliese was furthest from the Sun. Well, that doesn't sound particularly pleasant, but of course Gliese isn't the only star that could one day pass through the solar system. And regarding the general danger posed by such rogue stars, there is a new study that I find very, very interesting and which I have linked below. It shows that passing stars can not only disrupt the Oort cloud, but can even eject entire planets from the solar system. The simulations show that within the next billion years, Earth has a 1 in 500 chance of either being ejected from the solar system or being brought into collision with another planet. That doesn't sound like much, but it's significantly higher than previous estimates. Mercury is the worst off. As the innermost planet, it is statistically the most unstable and could be lost with a 50-80% to 80 higher probability than Earth. Pluto, on the other hand, has a relatively low probability of being ejected. So it's more like a truck crashing head-on into your house and leaving the tulip bed in the doghouse standing. But guys, no need to panic. These extreme scenarios are still very unlikely, and we have a long time to prepare for them. Fortunately, NASA is already working on solutions for the threat of asteroids. The DART project, for example, was a complete success. A probe rammed the asteroid Dimorphos and successfully changed its trajectory. We now know how to deflect dangerous objects. As far as Gliese is concerned, we can remain relatively relaxed. The comets that it will perfidiously hurl at us will probably be repelled. The event will be spectacular to watch and will bring us many new comets, but humanity will most likely survive. Perhaps our descendants will even develop some kind of comet shield or use the many new visitors as sources of raw materials for their space civilization. However, if at some point another star races through the inner solar system and flings the planets out directly, well, then our options for action will probably be rather limited. Of course, I'll keep you updated even a million years from now. So feel free to subscribe to the channel now so you don't miss anything. And now, let's stay in the mysterious outer regions of the solar system and travel to Pluto. There, NASA has discovered something incredibly exciting that has changed our understanding of the dwarf planet forever and might even point to extraterrestrial life. You can find out all about it in the video shown at the top right. Be sure to click on it, it's really fascinating. As always, you'll find another exciting video about space and science at the bottom right, otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video, take care everyone.